Imagine a world where our phones, electric cars, and solar-powered homes all depend on a single silvery white metal, quietly powering the future before our very eyes, lithium. Today, the global push for renewable energy has transformed lithium into one of the most sought-after minerals, forming the core of batteries that drive electric vehicles, store solar energy, and fuel nearly every portable device around us. As demand soars to unprecedented heights, driven by the urgency to meet global net zero carbon goals, every corner of the earth is being explored for potential lithium sources. But what if I told you that deep in the heart of West Africa, amidst the ancient rocks and rolling hills of Nigeria, lies an untapped treasure of lithium, one that could catapult the country into the center stage of the world's renewable energy revolution. Welcome to a story of discovery, innovation, and promise, a case study that begins not with pickaxes and drills, but with satellites soaring high above the clouds, scanning the Nigerian landscape for hidden riches. Our journey starts with a fundamental challenge. Traditional mineral exploration is no notoriously expensive and time-consuming. Picture prospectors trekking through dense forests, hauling equipment up rocky slopes, taking hundreds of soil and rock samples, only to wait months for laboratory results that might or might not reveal lithium. In a world racing against time to curb climate change, we need faster, smarter ways to search. And this is where technology takes center stage. Modern satellites equipped with advanced sensors can now read the Earth like an open book, picking up subtle signals invisible to the human eye. By leveraging these eyes in the sky, scientists set out to revolutionize lithium prospecting in Nigeria, focusing on a region known for its pegmatites, coarse-grained rocks that, for the trained geologist, whisper tales of hidden spodumene, lipidolite, and hectorite, all minerals rich in lithium. But what makes Nigeria so geologically special? Picture an ancient landscape forged over billions of years, dominated by the mighty Precambrian basement complex. Here, sprawling belts of granite and pegmatite snake across the southwest and north central regions, silently holding their mineral secrets. Beneath the surface, the country's natural wealth has been waiting, largely overlooked as the high cost and difficulty of traditional exploration left much of the terrain uncharted. Today, a new chapter begins, a unique approach that blends satellite data, mathematical models, and artificial intelligence into a cost-effective, scalable exploration framework. In other words, a digital treasure map for lithium. Let's travel to Isayan in Oyo State, where this bold new methodology was put to the test. Imagine drawing a rectangle on a map, selecting an expanse witch and pegmatites and granites, prime territory for finding those lithium-packed minerals. The traditional image of geologists scouring the ground is replaced by one of computers analyzing streams of data captured over a full year, every cloudless day, across 13 different slices of the rainbow, known as spectral bands. That's where Sentinel-2, one of the world's most advanced Earth-observing satellites, comes in. With the help of the Pharmonaut platform, researchers collected high-resolution surface imagery for every season, filtering out cloudy days to ensure crystal-clear data. Think of each band as a filter, revealing secrets that the human eye can't see, such as which minerals are present, how healthy the plants are, or whether there might be brine pools lurking below the surface. The real magic is in how scientists interpret these images. They use something called spectral indices, mathematical formulas designed to pick out specific clues from all that raw data. First, there's the Clay Mineral Index, CMI, a tool that homes in on those lithium-bearing clays like hectorite and lipidolite, which have their own unique spectral fingerprints in the shortwave infrared part of the spectrum. Then there's the Normalized Difference Water Index, NDWI, sniffing out brine pools that often accompany lithium in arid regions, while the Enhanced Vegetation Index, EVI, highlights patches of unhealthy vegetation. Interestingly, a telltale sign, since lithium-rich soils tend to stress plant life. Other indices point to iron oxides and alteration minerals, 
both of which are clues that pegmatites, and perhaps lithium, are close at hand. All these indices are carefully layered together, each with its own weight, like votes in a council meeting, some more influential than others, to create a single composite score, the lithium prospectivity map. This map isn't just a pretty picture, it's a high-tech guidebook, coloring the landscape from zero to 100, where the brightest hotspots mark the most promising places to explore next. But with so much ground to cover, how do you know where to start digging? This is where statistical anomaly detection comes into play. Imagine plotting every point on the map, then calculating the average lithium score and how much it varies. Any area that stands out far above the rest, say one and a half standard deviations higher than average, lights up as an anomaly, a likely spot for lithium. The best of the best, the zones that rise two standard deviations above the mean, are flagged as high priority areas. Just 3% of the study area made it into this exclusive club, offering a focused, actionable list for miners and investors eager to stake a claim. To add another layer of confidence, the researchers turned to a technique called Principal Component Analysis, or PCA. Picture it as a way of sharpening the digital image, separating subtle signals from background noise. By distilling the essential variations in the satellite data, PCA makes it easier to spot faint hints of lithium that might otherwise be missed, adding depth and reliability to the final prospectivity map. The result? A powerful tool that delivers both broad coverage and pinpoint accuracy, revealing a landscape dense with opportunity. Let's reflect on what these findings mean for Nigeria and for lithium exploration worldwide. The choice to focus on the ancient Precambrian rocks of Oyo State wasn't random. Science tells us that pegmatites are prime real estate for lithium mineralization. The spectral signals, especially those from the CMI and certain band ratios, lined up neatly with known geological truths. Even the way plants struggled in lithium-rich soils, captured in a dip in the EVI, validated the remote sensing approach. Sentinel-2's bird's eye view delivered a wealth of information at a fraction of the cost and time required for ground-based prospecting, opening the door to repeated, up-to-date scans across huge territories with minimal environmental disturbance. Of course, no method is perfect. Even with sophisticated cloud filtering, sometimes the data can get fuzzy. The approach works best when local geology fits known patterns, and final confirmation still depends on sending experts out to the field to take samples. Yet the advantages are clear. With satellite-based prospecting, countries like Nigeria can accelerate their search for critical minerals, slashing costs and timelines, while maximizing the chances of success. The implications echo far beyond this one case study. By integrating advanced data analysis, remote sensing, and smart mapping, we can chart a course for responsible, data-driven resource management across the globe. Zooming out from our Nigerian case study for a moment, it's crucial to recognize the game changers behind this technological leap. Companies like Pharmonaut are at the forefront of this digital revolution, making advanced satellite data accessible, affordable, and actionable for everyone. From small-scale prospectors in Africa to large multinational mining firms, Imagine a time when only the wealthiest companies with teams of geologists and millions in backing could afford comprehensive mineral surveys. Pharmonaut's mission is to level the playing field. Founded to democratize access to remote sensing, it blends artificial intelligence, GIS, and even blockchain, offering platforms through intuited apps, web dashboards, and seamless APIs. In the mining sector, Pharmonaut's expertise shines particularly bright. Instead of relying solely on boots on the ground, Pharmonaut's tools harness hyperspectral and multispectral imaging, capturing hundreds of narrow bands of reflected light. This allows for laser-sharp identification of mineral signatures, whether it's the iron oxides and clays linked to lithium and gold, or hidden alteration zones deep beneath the vegetation cover. Technologies like LiDAR create 3D maps of even the most rugged terrain, while synthetic aperture radar, or SAR, peers through clouds to track ground movement and stability year-round. The secret to their speed and precision lies in data science. 
artificial intelligence and machine learning sift through mountains of satellite imagery, building predictive models that can scan vast continents in days, not months, and with 60% efficiency gains over traditional exploration methods. The environmental impact is also drastically reduced. Rather than clear-cutting forests or setting off seismic blasts, Farmonauts tools let miners zero in on high potential targets with surgical precision, minimizing disturbance, and improving real-time risk assessment. The proof isn't just theoretical. From mapping new gold prospects in Mauritania to fast-tracking mining investments in Kenya, Tanzania, Nigeria, and as far away as South America, Farmonauts technology is transforming the way minerals are found and extracted.